and this C-Class Muay Thai rules bout will take place in the minus 72 kilogram division over three two minute rounds. Introducing to you firstly fighting out of the black corner. At yesterday's weigh-in he scaled 72.5 kilos. He's representing KO Gym in London. It's Bradley Pisa. And across the ring, fighting out of the white corner. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 71.3 kilos. He's representing Fight Zone Gym in East London. It's Andre Simon. My fight's in the ring. All right, boys, you both understand the rules, you're fine. Under C-class Muay Thai rules, over three rounds, okay? No knees or elbows to the head, no spinning back fists. Remember a knockdown, make sure you go neutral corner. I will not begin the count until you do so. Touch gloves, gentlemen, back to your corners. Down number okay. three of Ready? the evening Ready? seats, Bradley Houston in the red trunks. Sorry, the black trunks with the red trim and the black gloves facing Andre Simon. In the black trunks and the white gloves. Both of these men, Dave Fence, are looking great fighting shape here. Yeah, 72.5, a really exciting weight. They've got power, still got a bit of speed on them as well. These guys are both lean and rangy. You can see uh, Bradley sporting the Thai tattoos on his back. Obviously spent some time out there. Okay, so wait, 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 there you go. Andre Simon, wait. we've seen him before. Very skilled. Three two minute rounds to decide a winner between these two. Well, he's in there trying to go to work with the left hand, but Simon okay, so wait. really wait. sharp with those counter shots. Wait. Both very relaxed start here. See what, boys? See what? Nice work there from Heaston as he uh, just covered the distance and landed that nice knee to the body. Okay, so fight! Right, 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 right. Fight! Trying to get that left head kick on the go is Heeson, but Simon keeping that right hand high. Nothing got through just yet. Got work in that clinch, boys. Got work. Really measured knees from both gents here. Work the position with That's the arms. Good. Great start. Okay, seconds away, round number two. Seconds away, round number two. Okay. Seconds out. Hey! Well, a very measured start from two men who are very well matched. Who will be the first to step on the gas. It almost looked like work, he's boys. in there, caught Simon there on the way in as his legs buckled a little bit. I don't know if it was a slip or if he did tag him. But as you so rightly pointed out, very measured start from two guys. Almost looks like the start of a five round fight rather than a three, two minute round fight. So is it too slow? A nice right hand there from Simon. Got clean through Heeson, but the power didn't seem to bother him too much. It's an interesting one though, isn't it? In an arena like this with the lights, we've got a great crowd here, and Andre Simon's got a lot of supporters, relatively local as a fighter. You don't want to gas in the first round, even though it's only three twos, and you'll probably have a better idea of how much gas you've got in the tank after that first round. There's two London gyms going head to head here. I think I'd like to see Simon step into his left a bit more though. He doesn't step left and he's fighting a southpaw. Step left, throw the right hand, step left, throw the right kick. 
the nod from Heeson there as Simon gets through with that straight right. Good knee there. Come on, okay, survive. Right, I go. Jose Varela screaming there in the corner, screaming instruction to Simon. He'll lose his voice if he carries on at that rate. I think it's gone already. <laughs> You know Jose Varela, you know that that voice, oh, he never loses that, that voice. <laughs> okay, time, back to corners. Okay, seconds away, third and final round, okay? Seconds away, third and final round. Seconds out, touch gloves, touch gloves, final round, boys. Okay, step back. Final round right. then, and you feel as though this one is really in the balance and up for grabs. And there wasn't a lot between the touch of gloves there. And Bradley Heeson going at it again. Yeah, that's the right thing to do. I want to see fireworks from one of these guys. Someone needs to step on the gas now. That's better, stepping to his left. I think he's been told. But he needs to throw something when he does so. Needs to be first, I think. Bradley Heaston always using the initiative and throwing the first shot. Good knee from Heaston as uh, okay, so Cern right. comes in. Simon's being told to work by the corner. I think they know that he's being a bit too passive here. It's more like it. Yeah, Heeson's body kicks are nice. They're, they're landing with a big noise. And you can hear the effect, so they're going to score well. Nice left hand through the middle there as well. Squared him up with the right before coming through with that left. Dare I say it, in those clinch environments, Heeson just looks a tiny bit stronger. Looks a bit thicker set in the body, doesn't he? Good kick again. Answered straight back though. We said that earlier on, I think it's just a really well-matched fight, these guys that almost nullify each other. Well, he's straight up and it smiles on the faces of both men as once again we go to the judges' scorecards. We go to Peter Lowe, who's got the results in his hands. Both men are in the middle. It's score time. And a big round of applause for both of these men, please, after three hard-fought rounds. And at the end of those three completed rounds, your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision in favor of your winner. Fighting out of the black corner, it's Bradley Heeson. And show your appreciation for our runner-up, Andre Simon.